Service virtualization is a frequent API gateway use case. Instead of connecting to the service directly, clients connect through the API gateway. The API gateway can then apply policies to protect and mediate messages sent to the destination service. A typical requirement when virtualizing a service is to apply threat protection, transform the request message from JSON to XML format, and transform the response message from XML to JSON format. We'll use Policy Studio to accomplish this. First, let's take a look at the backend XML service. Let's use Postman to call the backend XML service. Note that this service requires an XML request data. Now let's invoke the service. As expected, we receive a valid XML response. Now let's begin to configure a policy using Policy Studio. Let's configure the message size filter that will validate the size of the request message and protect against improper requests with the minimum and maximum message size attributes. Next, add the reflect message filter to set the response code when payload size is more than the defined limit. Next, configure format conversion with a JSON to XML filter. Then configure the connect to URL filter. The connect to URL filter enables the API gateway to act as the endpoint to the client connection and to hide the deployment hierarchy of protected web services from clients. In other words, the API gateway performs service virtualization. Enter the URL of the service in the URL field. In the request tab, use the default values. The connect to URL filter simplifies all the configurations to connect to a target web service. This includes configuration of certificates, one-way SSL or mutual SSL, setting up service provider authentication using API keys, Kerberos, or OAuth, and additional settings for performing retries, handling failures, proxy, redirect, and header settings. All these configurations in just one filter compared to hundreds of lines of code. Configure the XML to JSON filter to convert the whole XML message to JSON format. Next, configure the set the message filter to set the content type to application slash JSON and also set the JSON message to the response message body using the default attribute. Then, configure the reflect message filter to set the HTTP response code status to 200. Configure this policy as an API called Clinix, then deploy and publish. The deployment is successful, so to test the API, let's again use Postman. Set the API endpoint and the JSON request message. Then invoke it. The response code is 200, which is successful and the response data is a valid JSON format. We can also test the threat protection by setting the request message size to be more than the maximum setting that was defined in the policy. Invoke the API. As expected, we receive an error response. To recap, predefined filters simplify service virtualization and Policy Studio provides many categories of filters including content filtering, conversion, and routing to simplify the task.